My name is Paranj Parantaman. I've been at the lab for over 20 years, and uh, I'm a distinguished uh, uh, scientist and a group leader for materials chemistry. Our uh, grand challenge is to look for energy storage material like batteries for EV or hybrid vehicles and grid storage applications. That can be coupled with the solar and wind energy, like there is no sunlight in the night, and if there is no wind, you don't have wind energy. So you want to store the energy and use it when you need it, and we want to use the technology, what we developed at Oak Ridge, to make future batteries for these applications. Right now, people are paying to get rid of their recycled tires, but I'm confident we can make low-cost, high-quality battery derived from recycled tires. Right now, uh, vulcanized tires, you add like 40% carbon black as a material in the vulcanized tires. So what we are trying to do is, we have a technology, we can recover carbon black with improved properties right from the recycled tires, and we have we can use them as a replacement for anode material in lithium ion batteries. And uh, we have already made small client cells and we have tested them as batteries and they are really working good. This is something uh, brand new. We have already filed a patent and even though we are the science lab, but we can take focus on the fundamental science and apply the same fundamental science to the application area and go from all the way from fundamentals applications. The other success we have had recently was titanium oxide based batteries. So you saw a lot of issues with the safety with lithium ion batteries. It can catch fire, it can react. So what we are looking at is can you use a safe anode material. So we are trying to replace the carbon with a titanium dioxide with a mesoporous architecture where lithium can intercalate, deintercalate quickly so we can do fast charging. For example, you can charge your cell phones in three to five minutes instead of an hour. So we have already demonstrated this technology using the material architecture developed at Oak Ridge. So what we are looking at right now is looking for partners where we can take this technology into the marketplace. And the other project I am working on is a critical materials project. So for example, we discover most of the thing in the United States, but all these batteries are being being manufactured overseas. So what we want to do is, we don't want to depend on foreign sources. So we want to develop our own capabilities. So as part of the critical materials project, so I am involved in separating lithium as a product from the geothermal brine solution. So I'm working with the company and they separate lithium chloride out, convert them to hydroxides and carbonate so that you can use it for making lithium ion battery electrode materials. So we are developing new sorbent materials and mem membranes for lithium chloride separation from the brine solutions. And uh, this source, if it gets commercialized, the method we work on with the company, and we can take care of our entire battery needs for the country. We have the best in the world. We can use all the capabilities at Oak Ridge, including nanocenters, palladium neutron source, and we can just characterize this material and understand how we can design future material. And also we want to make, using our additive manufacturing process to make permanent magnets that can be used in windmills and also vehicles, permanent magnet batteries. I've been at the lab for 20 years and I still get excited to come to the park and we discover new things about new material and we need these energy storage devices for future either uh, EV cars or grid applications, we need all those things.